गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हियर इज योर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अंडर यूनिट थर्टीन थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री एस्टिमेटिंग लेंथ एंड थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर वेट मास टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर दिस टू टॉपिक लेट्स सी व्हाट इज द एस्टिमेटिंग लेंथ एस्टिमेटिंग लेंथ इन वी कैन से इन शॉर्ट इट इज नॉट द एकट लेंथ it is not the exact length of anything that is said to be estimation okay that uh, we think that the length of that thing is around that number like you have seen a uh, your book you have seen your book okay so you have the scale also so you can imagine that you can estimate that the length of your book is near about 20 cm near about 20 cm right children without scale if we are estimating something that is we have seen the book every day you are looking at your book so you know that that much big your book is so that is the length of the book and i have estimated it is near about 20 cm so that is said to be estimation but when we use scale and measure the book so what measurement you get what number you get when you are measuring it that is said to be the real length that is said to be the real length here you can see in this example like learning by doing you will need a measuring tape you need a measuring tape what is measuring tape here you can see different tape i have showed in that picture this these are the measuring these are the measuring tape these tapes are measuring tape so you need a measuring tape a set of scales or a scales are required to know the accurate or real length real length means accurate length and estimate length is that the length is around that number that is not the real length so this is practical for you distance around head this girl is measuring head of a child a boy so that is the distance around a head so you can take measuring tape this way you can measure that the length of head that will be the real length where you are getting the number that is the real length okay and estimate length means what you are thinking you have seen that head and according to your memory that how how what will be the length of that head that is the estimation and difference is that you have to subtract both estimate length and real length that what answer you are getting that is the difference right then next is arm length length of your arm length of your arm length of your hand span what is hand span you know no that is hand span that the size of your palm that the hand span when you open it then distance around a wrist that around the wrist like she is measuring this head around the head same way you have to measure your wrist distance from knee to floor from your knee to floor what the distance is that you have to measure with that tape length of shoes what is the length of your shoes so you have to estimate the length like you know that your leg will be 15 to 20 15 cm no 15 or 10 cm that is the estimation because i don't know accurately but when we measure it by scale so you can know that the what the accurate length of your shoe then you have to subtract both so you will get the difference understood children what is the estimate so this is a practical work for you that you have to do in the book no need to do in the copy now next page here what is there here the tree is the tree in this picture is 5 meter high about how high are the other things now we know that the accurate or the real 
measurement of the tree that is 5 meter what is the real measurement of tree 5 meter now you have to tell about how high are other things so this is the this is the is it half part of the tree no no so half part seems to be here half is like here no that is the half part so this is the one third no so the height of this car may be two meters right this swing is bigger that is the taller than the car so it will be three meter but this building is equal to that tree so that building is five meter so with the help of this tree measurement we got this estimate estimate length of these remaining objects understood but we don't know the real length for knowing real length we need that tape or scales understood children the building is about the same height as the tree as i have told so same height it is about 5 meter we can divide the picture into meters in our mind now i have divided this picture as i have told that is 5 meter but it is not the half of the tree so i have estimated that uh, this is 2 meters okay now the swing is about 2 meter high now see they have estimated 2 meters high that swing but i have estimated 3 meters so it is near about that the car is about 1.5 meter height but i have estimated 2 meter so that is not the uh, real length or height of that things not the real height or length of the that things but it is the estimation so estimation can be go little wrong also that 0.5 or 1 meter here and there but real is the accurate things okay that is the that is telling the original what the height or length of that thing understood children now this car is 4 meter long this car is 4 meter long about how long are these now we have to tell the uh, this length of the bus length of the bus this is 4 meter this car is 4 meter so this car is not the half of the bus okay it is not half of the bus so it may be if the car is 4 meter car is 4 meter this part then this little part is 4 4 8 then plus 4 8 plus 4 4 3 is a 12 so it will be 12 meters okay that is the my estimation so this way you can also estimate 12 meter i have estimated same way you have to estimate the length of remaining objects given here in the book okay this exercise we have to do in the book this is the truck and the truck is about this car's length is given that is 4 meter so truck is about how much the aeroplane is about if car is 4 meter then aeroplane is what the bike is about this bike is about if car is this much big then what the uh, length of the bike that you have to tell and send me now come to the next now this is important thing that the unit 13.4 this comes under the exercise 13.4 this is your exercise 13.4 okay so here we are going to learn about weight what is weight as you have studied that length is measured in meters centimeters okay kilometers distance is measured in kilometers same way weight is measured in grams and kilograms We use grams and kilograms to find accurate weight of different object. The standard unit of weight is gram. As the standard unit of length you have studied meters, same way the standard unit of weight is gram. That is very important. What is the standard unit of 
measuring weight that is gram the a gram is a smaller unit to weight things gram is a smaller unit kilogram is the this kilogram is the higher unit and gram is the smaller unit it is used to weight lighter objects we buy gold or silver ornaments mostly in grams we buy these objects mostly in gram because it is lighter we cannot wear that gold sometimes gold and silvers we are wearing making that earrings or finger rings so that uh, that much heavy we cannot wear no so mostly we purchase this gold and silver in grams okay and it is very like 10 grams or uh, 2 grams earrings that we buy so gold and silvers are purchased in grams and that are very expensive also so we cannot buy that uh, kilos of gold and uh, four or five kilos of sil uh, silvers we can but gold it is hard to buy it is very expensive now here you can see a kilogram is bigger unit to weight things it is used to weight heavier objects we buy sugar sweets rice coffee powders butter wheat flour etc in kilogram so these all things like potatoes vegetables and all we buy rice wheat these things we buy in kilograms this is the short form of k kilogram kg we write kg and for gram we write gm okay children so here these are the weights we call it weights what we are using to weight the things now here this is you can see that is weight scale this is weight scale here what is kept weight is kept here is potatoes so if 1 kg weight is there then this side 1 kg potato will be there this is balance scale okay now like the unit of length mass weight can also be calculated or found in different relevant units look at the table like you uh, used units of length units of length was what there here it was kilometer now here when we are measuring weight because weight is measured in kilogram so here is kilogram then hectogram decagram gram decigram centigram milligram like you have learned about measuring length that kilometer hectometer because that there we were measuring length but weight is measured in grams okay standard of unit of measuring weight is what grams so here what are the units kilogram that is 1 kg equals to 1000 gram 1 kg equals to 1000 gram okay then 100 hectogram decagram gram decigram centigram milligram this case shows that 1 kg equals to 1000 gram then 1 hectogram equals to 100 gram 1 decagram equals to 10 gram as in the length each unit was telling about the 10 there is the 10 as we go to higher units what we have learned as we go to high uh, this higher units lower units we multiply by 10 as we go to lower units we multiply by 10 here multiplied by 10 okay so this is 10 tens are 100 then thousand so 1 gram equals to 1 kg equals to 1000 gram okay then this is decigram 1 by 10 grams centigram 1 by 100 grams and milligram 1 by thousand grams now table of weights 10 milligram that is equals to 1 centigram 10 milligram this here is your milligram okay this is milligram 10 milligram what is the next is centigram so we move 10 to each unit so 1 10 milligram equals to 1 centigram then 10 centigram equals to 1 decigram 
टेन डेसी ग्राम इक्वल्स टू वन ग्राम ओके देन टेन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू वन डेकाग्राम टेन डेकाग्राम इक्वल्स टू वन हैक्टोग्राम देन टेन हैक्टोग्राम इक्वल्स टू वन किलोग्राम बिकॉज वी आर मूविंग टेन यूनिट्स बाई ईच यूनिट नाउ स्टडी द ऑर्डर ऑफ डिफरेंट यूनिट ईच हायर यूनिट इज टेन टाइम्स द प्रीवियस वन एज आई हैव टोल्ड हायर यूनिट इज टेन टाइम्स टू प्रीवियस वन वन के जी इक्वल्स टू टेन हैक्टो दिस इज द हायर यूनिट नो सो टेन हैक्टोग्राम वन के जी इक्वल्स टू टेन डेकाग्राम वन के जी इक्वल्स टू टेन वन थाउजेंड ग्राम्स देन दीज आर वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू टेन डेसी ग्राम देन वन दिस इज वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड सेंटीग्राम वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड मिली ग्राम सो दिस इज द टेबल दैट यू हैव टू लर्न ओके वन के जी इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ग्राम वन के जी इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ग्राम वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड मिली ग्राम दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वन के जी इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ग्राम वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड मिली ग्राम सी वेर इज हियर इज वन ग्राम एंड वेर इज मिली ग्राम हियर इज मिली ग्राम सो हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी आर गोइंग फ्रॉम ग्राम्स वन टेन टू टेन एंड दिस इज थ्री टेन थ्री टेन मीन्स वन थाउजेंड दैट्स वाई वन ग्राम इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड मिली ग्राम नाउ हियर इज द बुक एक्सरसाइज दैट इज योर एक्सरसाइज ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स वन के जी इक्वल्स टू हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स वन के जी इक्वल्स टू हाउ मेनी ग्राम चिल्ड्रेन थाउजेंड ग्राम देन फाइव के जी इक्वल्स टू फाइव के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम नाउ यू हैव टू चेंज इन ग्राम्स यू हैव टू चेंज इन ग्राम्स सो सी हियर फाइव के जी फाइव के जी फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम ना यू हैव टू चेंज इन वॉट इज देयर दैट सोल्यूशन यू हैव टू डू हियर इज रिटर्न ग्राम्स मीन्स यू हैव टू कन्वर्ट फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इज रिटर्न नो हियर इट इज नॉट रिटर्न टू कन्वर्ट इन ग्राम बट हियर इफ ग्राम्स गिवेन इट मीन्स दैट वी हैव टू चेंज इन ग्राम्स एज यू नो लाइक यू वॉज डूइंग इन लेंथ सेम वे हियर फॉर वेट ऑल्सो यू हैव टू डू एज यू नो दैट वन के जी इक्वल्स टू थाउजेंड ग्राम सो फाइव के जी इक्वल्स टू वोट चिल्ड्रेन फाइव के जी इक्वल्स टू फाइव मल्टीप्लाई थाउजेंड दैन दिस इज ऑलरेडी इन ग्राम सो प्लस फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम नाउ वॉट विल यू गेट फाइव थाउजेंड ग्राम प्लस फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम नाउ बोथ यू हैव टू एड फाइव थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ग्राम राइट चिल्ड्रेन दिस वे यू हैव टू कंप्लीट दिस फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स नाउ वन मोर क्वेश्चन इज देव वर्कआउट मेंटली वर्कआउट mentally that is this question 5000 gram means you don't have to do solution just you have to work it 5000 grams grams you have to change in kg and gram 5000 gram means what children 5 kg 5000 gram means 5 kg no grams how i am telling you how see 1 kg equals to 1000 grams so 5000 grams what you have to find out kg you have to find out so what is the meaning of that that means you have to divide okay so when we are dividing 5000 by 1000 cancel it 5 is left so 5 kg now here 6025 no so what is left 6025 6025 okay then this we have to divide by 1000 always when we are converting grams into kg means we have to divide by 1000 three zeros are there here three zeros are there so you have to place the decimal from your right after three units 1 2 Three. Here you have to put the decimal. Okay. 
so it will be 6 kg and 25 grams right children so this is your exercise that you have to do in copy exercise 13.4 you have to do in your copy any difficult question is there this one more i am telling you 9005 gram then where you have to put the decimal like answer will be 9 9 kg and 005 gram because after three digit from your right hand one two three you have to place the decimal this is kg and rest is gram okay here 18 kg 375 gram so this is here your class is over i hope you understood the lesson complete it and show it to me thank you